I am Anil Kumar and in this set of videos we are going to learn how to solve algebraic equations with variables on both sides. So this is a simple example. We have variables on both sides of equality. Variables could be x, y or any letter. So the first equation is 7x equals to 5x plus 8. The second one is 5y minus y equals to y minus 8. So you can pause the video, try to solve them and also look into my solution thereafter. So let us see how to solve such equation. The idea is to get variables on one side. So that is the whole concept. So in this case, uh, our key thing is get variables on one side, right? So any side which you prefer, but they should be on one side. Sometimes you prefer to bring variables to the side where the coefficient is bigger, sometimes. But normally, we will prefer to put them on the left side. So in all my examples, what I will do is I'll put variables on left side, correct? Now, how do you do that? So to do that is we are given the equation 7x equals to 5x plus 8. Let us take this as an example. So first step will be, as we solve equation, here we will subtract 5x from both sides. So we will write this as 7x minus 5x equals to 5x plus 8 minus 5x, right? So if I take away 5x from both the sides, equality is maintained and we get variables on left side. You see how? 7x minus 5x is 2x. So we get 2x equals to 5x minus 5x is 0. So we do not have any variable on the right side. So that is how you can ensure that you have variables in only one side. Now it becomes simpler. You can now apply the methods which you have learned. 2 times x is 8. To find x, we will divide by 2 on both the sides. So whatever you do, you have to do it on both the sides. So we'll divide by 2 on both the sides. So we get 2x equals to 8, both divided by 2. Now when you divide 2x by 2, you are left with x, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that becomes your answer. At times, you can check your answer. So if I substitute 4 here, then what is 7 times 4 equals to? 7 times 4 is 28, right? On the other hand, if I have 4 here, then I have 5 times 4 plus 8. 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 plus 8 is also 28. So you get the same answer. 28. Correct? So left side is equal to right side. Since left side equals to right side, we have the correct solution. So that is the checking part of a solution. So in the second example, I will solve and you check it on your own. So first step is to bring variables on one side. So in this particular case, we'll take away y from both sides. So write subtract y from both sides. So that is the first step, right? In the previous case, we subtracted 5x from both sides. So the variable 5y minus y equals to y minus 8 minus y. 5y minus y is 4y. So next step is simplify. So just simplify this. y minus y is 0. You are left with minus 8. So you get a equation in which you have one variable only and that two on left side. Now to solve, what should you do? You should divide by 4 on both sides, right? So whatever you do, you have to do on both sides. So 4y divided by 4 equals to minus of 8 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so you are left with y. Minus 8 divided by 4 is minus 2. And therefore, our answer is y equals to minus 2. So for this particular question, y is minus 2. Previously, our answer was x equals to 4, correct? So that is how you could actually solve equations with variables on both sides. We'll take a few more examples with some variation. Thank you and all the best.